continuing with the Mudge Market uh, series here. So I'm the first one on the map, Bea 222, and Change almost 223. Let's get a close up of that. Boom. So this ship is in Mudge Market, it is the Benson Assault Cruiser that flies backwards. So we had the Dark Matter Torpedo, a Covert Phaser Array, Wide Angled Dual Heavy Beam Bank, and an Enhanced Biomolecular Photon, a Re-Engineered Crit Coil uh, Deflector Dish from the Colony, Prevailing Engines, Marcelo Harmonic Warp Core. Tilly Shield that gives you shield penetration based on what you have it set at, at the power it hits. All right, two together give you 120 shield, I mean, hull regeneration. Lorca's Fire Control for crit chance, weapons power, and shield penetration, a lot of shield penetration, 157. We have all three pieces on here, so we get this 1% crit severity buff st stacks up to 25 times, and the magic dark matter shoots out 360 degrees at targets below 50%. The Ordnance Accelerator for the projectile damage and the Phaser Directed Energy Weapon damage. And it's paired with its turret up top. So when the two is together, you get an extra 10% Phaser damage. And that's the turret. The, the Advanced Inhibiting Phaser Heavy Turret. You got a covert omnidirectional, re-engineered, and the trialium enhanced omnidirectional with its console. A heavy biomolecular phaser turret. We have the tachyokinetic converter. The assimilated module, crit chance, crit severity, weapons power, damage control, and control expertise. I forgot to go over that, but everything's linked below, guys. Reinforced armaments, power transfer rate, hull restoration, and hull capacity. And that's the Triallium's Omni. So it's 5% fire cycle haste for energy weapons and flight speed. Bio-neuro infusion circuit for hull capacity, control expertise, and crit severity. Hydrodynamic compensator, engine power, auxiliary power, starship accuracy, and flight turn rate and the immobilizing phase of turret, but wait a minute. Oops. So there's a cat two bonus, very small, 7.5 to phasers. The immobilizing phase of turret, more phaser damage and shield penetration. From the spire, we have four Vulnerability locators for critical chance and phaser damage. Now that has shield pen on it. This console gives you shield pen. That's directed energy weapons. 26.3% of your outgoing damage. This console gives you 157 Point five, and the deflector gives you 21.3 shield penetration so there's a lot of shield pen on this uh, build so 
So we're gonna rock through traits, a good day to die, innocuous, resonating payload, Terran targeting systems, operative, duelist forever, intense focus, which gives you another 1.5 to shield pen and accuracy. Superior beam training and self-modulating fire that works on both energy weapons and torps. Best hope of the Empire for the beam overload. Preferential targeting. Withering barrage. Super weapon ingenuity. Emergency weapon cycle. And Terran goodbye. Now down here we have advanced targeting for crit severity. Enhanced shield penetration. Omega gravitic amplifier. Magnified firepower. And I'm using the chrono capacitor to help out because I don't have three DOFs. Um, but you could just add enhanced armor penetration. Now the duty officers are a little bit different. The first one is 35% chance to, for shield penetration on beam overload. Stacking crit chance for energy weapons. Stacking crit severity for energy weapons. Extend the time of reverse shield polarity. And two emergency to bat, aux to bat officers. I'm actually going to put this back the way it was. I like my bridge officers to cool down real quick. In skills. I'm going to pull it down here. So you're going to see in the run. I am practically on top of the target all the time. I'm missing that third point in long range targeting. But I do have my drain points. Now, this ship is a Mud's Market, and currently it is 17,000 Zen. That's $170-ish. Um, for that price, I would not recommend this ship. If it goes on sale for like 6700 or something like that, reasonable yeah sixty dollars for an account unlock is worth it but at this time of full price i do not recommend this ship at all there are way better ships you can get so purposely i did one of my weird builds and let's check out how it went Because you know me, I never do meta builds. Say goodbye to everything.
And there she goes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you launch the game through the Epic Game Store, that is my supporter creator code, Silly Sus Sage, with all the dashes. And if it's your first time here, subscribe, leave a like, drop a comment, or follow me over on Twitch. Peace.